tactics just searching up uh i feel like just searching up uh, google trending I, I use that a lot uh right now type beats is not really booming it's uh instrumentals and uh i forgot the other one as far as you know finding out like predicting trends uh watching trends that are falling off maybe for those who haven't really used google trends can you explain like how that would work you search up some some keywords uh search as Ludurk instrumentals or just Ludurk. uh i believe he just the the voice you search up the voice and uh it, it'll just come up with a whole bunch of different data and you could you could see what's going up and what's not Google Trends can be an incredibly powerful tool to help you optimize how you market your beats online. But what data is the most important and how do you really make it work for you and help your business? Today we're going to be looking at a few different ways for beat sellers to use Google Trends. To access Google Trends, all you need to do is visit trends.google.com or do a Google search for trends. The first way we can use Google Trends is by pinpointing keywords we want to use for SEO of our beats. Let's say we sell Drake type beats, and we want to see what keywords people search for the most. Well, we can go ahead and enter that here. My first option is going to be Drake type beats. We can see this chart showing the interest over time. These filters can help us change the location or the time period as well. This compare feature is what I want to focus on for right now though. We can use this to type in different variations of our term to see which one is the most popular. I'm going to throw in Drake Beat as well. Now we can immediately see which one is getting more search volume right now. We can also change this from web searches to YouTube searches. This is probably going to be the info you want to focus on in terms of gauging what's popular on BeatStars and YouTube. So from what we see here, Drake Beats is clearly being searched more. So when tagging and titling our beats, we want to keep what we see here in mind. If you scroll a bit down, you can see interest by region and related queries. Related queries is a great place to see some rising trends that are related to your search. By searching for Drake type beats, we learn that Lil Durk type beat searches are up. And then you can add it to your comparison or check it out here as well. And it's going to do that for every term you add to your comparison. So we can see for Drake Beat, we have some breakout trends that are related. Let's go ahead and do a comparison for this Laugh Now Cry Later tag. So we see this huge peak here from August of last year, where it was just going crazy and outperforming everything. And that was actually the release date. So this brings us to our second way we can use Google Trends, which is running searches on new music to predict the popularity of related beat searches. Let's run a search for type beats for a recent release. I'm going to search for Pop Smoke. Here we can see that Pop Smoke beat searches have gone way up since that album release. Knowing this information is going to be the key to unlocking successful beat launches. If we're pushing stuff out at the time the interest is at its peak, that means we have more people listening to our beats. It's as simple as that. Now let's compare this to another launch in the last 90 days. Vince Staples released a new project about a week before Pop Smokes. So let's add him to this comparison. And we see that compared to Pop Smoke, his album launch didn't make much of an impact. Vince Staples is obviously a very popular and successful artist, and there is interest in Vince Staples type beats, but it just didn't create the same surge as Pop Smoke did. So please use release calendars as a resource. Look into the past releases of artists that have upcoming projects, and look for spikes like this that we see with Pop Smoke or like the one that we saw with Drake, because chances are that history will probably repeat itself and you could be giving yourself a big advantage by having beats ready for peaks in interest. You should also be aware of single releases, anniversaries, any news surrounding an artist. Anything that will get those artists in people's minds and make them want to search for beats. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos like this, subscribe to BeatStars.